This video is for my Ceramics 1 students to understand the prep on dip glazing our little pinch cups. We are going to be waxing, dipping, and then dry footing the pots. We have two pots. The first one is this graffito pot. That is the one that we carved with under glazes before it was fired. We will dip that in clear. And the other one is the unglazed one, which we will be dipping in a white base glaze in order to do a Mialica technique on top of the white base glaze when it is dry. On both of them, the first step is to create a pencil reference line to help us know how far to wax. We will be putting wax on the bottom of our pot to make it easier to get the glaze off. So if you lay a pencil down flat on a table and rotate your pot up against it, you will create a line that is about an eighth of an inch above the base of the pot. That is how far you will want to wax because you have to have some clearance between the glaze and the, the kiln shelf. You will do that on both cups. Next, you're going to go to the wax station and you're going to use a wax brush. Now you can see the wax station has instructions that are written. It has a little holder for the wax brushes and it has the wax itself. You will be using the wax brushes. Make sure they're not too wet and you don't want to have any wax on your fingers or else it will transfer and you're going to be, again, putting the wax up to the pencil line so it's an eighth of an inch up. There are some examples there that you can look at. So as you brush the wax on, be very careful, not allowing it to drip. Again, you don't want your brush too wet. And your fingers should be clean so you're not transferring wax. A th one thin layer is all it takes. And then you're going to do the second pot in the same manner. So right up to the line. Now, if wax doesn't get into the grooves, it doesn't matter. Now, you want to wash your brush out because the wax will harden if you don't. Wash it out. You can use a little bit of soap and then kind of shake it out before you return it back to the holder. After you have applied your wax and it is dried and it doesn't really look white or sticky anymore, then you're ready to glaze your pots. Now we have two glazes back here, so you want to use the correct one. First of all, let's look at this one. It says dip the red unglazed pot in here. That is for the Mialica technique. It's the TC11 white. When you open this up, you're going to be using the whisk to really mix it up well because glazes will settle out between classes or overnight and it might get watery on top. So you want to make sure that you have your glaze mixed up well. Now the other glaze, that is for the Scraffito cups, and that is the clear glaze, and it does look pink, but it will fire clear. Now you can see that one was definitely more watery on the surface, but by proper mixing it will incorporate it and it will be a nice even mixture. Now surrounding these buckets you will see that there are some trays, old trays, and then you will also see these tongs. The tongs are going to be used to hold your pot. So you want to grab your pot by the side. So I'm putting the pot right side up. I'm going to use the tongs to grab the side of the pot. So one part of this tong goes on the inside of the wall, one on the outside of the wall. I'm holding it by the side, not by the bottom. Grip it pretty firmly, and when you kind of squeeze together your uh, the handles, that is going to hold it real firmly, and you're going to then submerge it into the correct glaze. So this is the unglazed pot going in the white glaze. When you take it out, flip it upside down and shake it off. The pot should be upside down because you want to encourage the glaze to run up off the top, not to pool down at the base. Um, if it pools down at the base, you'll have a thick accumulation that can get stuck during the firing. So you shake it off until it looks like it stops dripping. When you've uh, gotten it to the point where it stops dripping, that's usually pretty good. And by the way, this white glaze is very thick compared to most of our other dip glazes that we have. Now, before I set it down, I want you to notice the bottom. See how it's starting to kind of bead up and kind of uh, peel back a little bit? That wax is helping to um, get it not to adhere. Then at this point, I can wipe the bottom 
by uh, using the sponge that I have. There's a damp sponge next to it, and then I can place it on the tray. So you can see it didn't make it completely clean, but it certainly helped. And then place it on the tray. We're going to let it dry for about 24 hours. And you have to be careful when you release those tongs so you don't scratch it. Our next step is going to be repeat it with the other cup in the other glaze. So here I'm going to do this graffito cup in the exact same manner, hold it by the side, dip it in, take it out, upside down, I'm shaking it off, and then I will wipe the bottom. Now, it will be a natural occurrence that the pink will appear more thin than the white. That is just the nature of these uh, couple of glazes that we're using. So again, hold it upside down until it stops dripping, then place it on the tray and try to do that without scratching the glaze off. All right. We then allow it to sit for 24 hours to dry. Now we're going to dry foot it. So you pick up your pot once it's dry and you're going to be sponging off the bottom. Now occasionally you might get a really thick area that you have to kind of scrape away. And that's, uh, you can use a metal scraper or a metal tool. Here I have a real thick accumulation right there um, at the corner. So I'm going to kind of sponge off the glaze first and then notice how thick it is right there at that corner. That's what I need to scrape away because the sponge is not doing quite enough. You can use a loop tool from your tool bin if you want to. And then after you scrape away some of the thickness, then you just continue to sponge. It should be sponged an eighth of an inch up away from the base up to the, that pencil line that we had marked previously. If by chance you have uh, wax that you got in a spot, um, you can't just glaze over it. You will need to uh, wipe it off with really hot water and soap. Here I'm just getting more accumulation off. Once you're done with cleaning both of the pot bottoms, you can then put your cleaned scraffito pot in the drying cabinet and that can get fired. And then you want to get ready for the Mialica painting, and that will be in the next video, but you can see exactly where the glazes are. They're in the earthenware section, and you are only using the things that are underneath those orange papers, the ones where it's clearly saying, use just these teacher's palette glazes for your Mialica. And then you can see the next video to see how we do it.